Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Tunnel 14 Let's Play, where guys, I'm still rocking the Dragon Rider Dragon Raid, getting better at it, figuring it out, and understanding some things. Now, I'm starting to understand popping that battle blimp a little early. So we're going to be doing that specifically today, uh, if, it, if it needs to be done, obviously on the base that I'm attacking, and really trying to focus on honing the skill. Okay, I did it in war. I didn't three star in war for my first time. So let's see if we can do it a better, uh, do it better this upcoming time. My uh, pet house is still working. We got about four hours to go. I'm gonna wait as long as I'm able to today, and we're gonna do another one. So I need some more dark elixir. I would love it if I can keep upgrading that unicorn, but that's gonna require a crazy amount of dark elixir. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll just figure it out as we go, guys. So uh, let me try to find a base with a lot of dark elixir because obvious reasons, and I'll also be using my sixth builder today on something. I don't know, a trap, a defense, a, I mean, I'd love it if I upgraded my king, that'd be awesome, but odds are that's not going to happen, so we shall see, okay, we, we shall see. So, yeah, I found a base worth a lot of dark elixir, actually worth a lot of trophies as well, so let's attack this base, I have pretty good value for um, for the wizards and stuff, if I put them down in this compartment here, I think they, well, I don't think they can get to the town hall. I might pop them a little early and try to get this town hall down. Actually, I think there's giant bombs near the town hall. Yeah, I'm thinking dropping them beforehand would be better. So let's go ahead and put the hound and the blimp down. I'm also going to set down the rage and the invisibility spell right there and pop. Bam! Alright, there you go. So, popped it early to make sure that they didn't die in the uh, the town hall's uh, bomb, the ability, whatever it is. So, I think they're working, actually I think they're working on the wall right now. That's hilarious. Ooh, look at that, they're hitting the, te the Tesla, that was awesome. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there was that last one. Maybe they'll, they'll take out the king or get close or something. There goes the wall. Um, yeah, but the <laughs> Inferno ruins them so fast. That was brutal. But we got rid of a scatter shot and a few other things. So that was good. So, King, Queen, and Royal Champion. I've had lots of people give differing opinions on how this is supposed to go. Oh, I got rid of that sweeper too. That's perfect. So, anyway, I've had a lot of people that are giving differing opinions on how this should go. Uh, I'm just gonna just do it the way I have learned it so far. And if I need to, I will make adjustments later. So, let's poison this Queen. Let's drop a Rage. I'm going to take out this this uh, single Inferno as, as quickly as possible. I'm also kind of funneling my heroes toward the Town Hall right now. So this is kind of perfect, actually. Let's uh, freeze over the Eagle. Drop a uh, maybe a Rage spell over the Town Hall. Looks like actually my Dragon Riders will get rid of the Town Hall. So that's perfect. Except for, ooh, they hit that Tornado Trap. That's not perfect. Uh, Warden's ability. <laughs> Come on, guys, you can do it. Okay, there's the king. Pop the king's ability through there. Hopefully, he doesn't get hit by that giant or the uh, the giga bomb. And let's get rid of that pet house. Help these dragons focus on this air defense a little bit better. I've also got. Let's see. Yeah, you just start working on that over there. Okay, so the queen's ability is the last thing I have left. She is getting roasted though by all the things in the middle. So <laughs> let's pop her ability now. Expo should go down, and she goes down too. That's a bummer. Okay. So there we go, um, we have at least an 80% 2 star, I don't know, uh, with that air defense still up, I'm not sure how these dragons are going to do, but notice we've got most of our dragons still alive, you know, so we may very well do well, uh, 3 star, uh, if, if this air defense can go down soon, it looks like these two are focusing on it, so that's awesome, get down, yes, so the last remaining air targeting defense is this archer tower, the wizard tower is also an air targeting defense, but not something I really care too much about. I'm not worried about it. Uh, and then, of course, the occasional seeking air mine that my poor dragon just got wrecked by. Uh, but, uh, yeah, time may be of the essence here, guys. I think all the air targeting defenses will go down, but I'll run out of time before I get the 3-star. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, can't do a whole lot better than that. Obviously, I can make it faster somehow. I feel like I deployed my... My troops extremely fast, but 94% two star. You gotta admit, dudes, you gotta admit that is pretty close, okay? I've seen closer, obviously, but that was pretty close. Plus, they were about to focus on these two army camps. That would have been a 96, given another second or two. But yeah, that was awesome. So, with that loot bonus, guys, that was 7,940 dark elixir, nearly 8,000. Not too bad. Plus, gold and the elixir, but not a whole lot of that. 
So let's request for some CC troops. I gotta wait till my queen wakes up. She's got the longest wait. Actually, the queen, the warden, and the uh, royal champion, they all three have the same amount of time. So we're gonna wait. I'll wait 37 minutes. I'll, I'll do some other filming of some other video. Maybe I'll do something for the second channel. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. Five seconds to go, guys, until my heroes are finally awake and I can go smack another base. Uh, I've been patiently waiting while filming a couple of other things, so stay tuned for all of that. Uh, so let's try to find another base with tons of Dark Elixir. I've actually got a pretty good amount of Dark Elixir uh, to pretty much do any of the other upgrades that I want, but the Unicorn. <laughs> I don't quite have enough for the Unicorn, so... Yeah, uh, I'm planning ahead, right? I want to do as much Dark Elixir as I can for maybe the next one or maybe... I actually need to upgrade the King. Remember, he's level 79. He needs to go to level 80 and I don't have enough medals to get a hammer of heroes. So, I don't know. I I, I don't know what's going on. So, anyway, uh, here's 7,000. 7,000 Dark Elixir is a decent amount. So, uh, let's go... Let's go Hound and Blimp. Remember, we're kind of, sort of focusing on uh, popping this blimp a little early, right? So let's do let's do a rage. Let's also do a uh, invisibility spell, and they're gonna come out. I gotta watch out for them, though. I don't know exactly where they are. Uh, are they still alive? I'm I'm trying to figure. <laughs> are there more? Did they all die? What's happening? Oh, they must have all died. Dang it, dude. Okay, well that was that did not go well. <laughs> that did not go according to plan at all. Uh, I think we can still do okay, but we'll see, okay? We'll see. So, balloons, I'm not gonna, by the way, I'm not gonna put my king and my queen down just yet. I wanna maybe take out these balloons first. So, dragons, uh, dragon riders, warden, okay, everybody's in. Y'all just be careful, okay? Let's drop a, uh, maybe we should drop an early rage? I don't know. Uh, definitely wanna rage that. Yeah, 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 let's make that invisible too. Perfect! Nobody's gonna be a smack in my base. I like it. Let's drop uh, another freeze and a warden's up, uh, warden's ability there because we did. I did see a seeking air mine. I, I want to be careful of, and then one more invisibility spell. Very nice. So if I could, man, if I can get these balloons and stuff to die, that'd be great. There goes the town hall. That'd be awesome. That is awesome. Uh, King, queen, and royal champion. The poison spell should kill the balloons or most of them anyway. The other dragon should do it too. Now I've just got a few cleanup troops. So. Definitely not the three star that we were wanting, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a little tricky. I didn't, I, I, okay, here's what I didn't do. I wasn't watching for the sweepers. That, that's what I mostly didn't do. I, I wasn't paying attention, so my bad. Sweepers are very, very, very important. They haven't changed much since they came to Clash of Clans um, at all, uh, but they're not to be underestimated, dude. They're still pretty flippin' epic to be honest, and, and they're probably the most annoying thing in the game, also. Besides maybe the queen. Yeah, she doesn't like to go where you want her to go. She's pretty annoying too. Uh, but okay, King's ability, get up there guys, let's go. Um, actually, actually, dudes, we might just three-star this base. <laughs> we might just get a triple, watch this, watch this. So this queen's gonna get this expo. Uh, the yak, aw, oh, but the yak died, dang it. I didn't want the yak to die, I wanted the yak to live. Um, that's alright, so the, the queen will work on the, the skeletons, come on, come on, come on, get that Tesla down, hurry, 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 okay, so the king gets in, pop your ability queen, she's gonna get that, uh, elixir storage, and then she's gonna get the gold storage, I just three star a base, even though it went terribly at the beginning, yes, <laughs> feels good, y'all. Feels real good, I like that a lot. So with that loot bonus over 9,000 dark elixir, that's pretty much what I aim for these days. That was awesome, and uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go into my progress base and let's make some decisions. First things first, let's look at the pet house and make some, yeah, yeah, okay. So because I waited until the end of this clip instead of gemming at the beginning, I saved eight gems. Not bad, 42 gems though, to go ahead and do this now is worth it, so let's go. 42 gems, three, two, one, bam. Okay, and then what do I want to do next? Do I want to do Lassie again, Electro Owl, or the Mighty Yak? I feel like I want to help out the Yak. And here's why. Because we just watched the Yak die just before we needed him. Just before we needed him the most, 
right? So I'm going to give the Yak its very first upgrade, level 2, 165,000 Dark Elixir, a 3-day upgrade, which is perfect for me. So let's go. 3, 2, 1, bam. Um, and the reason why I say it's perfect for me is because I'm working with my dad doing uh, remodeling work and stuff like that on his house, and I work on certain days, and I film on the other days. So three days from now will be perfect for, for that. So there we go, guys. Mighty Yak gets its very first upgrade. That's awesome. And now let's see what we can do with gold. I'm going to go ahead and collect my treasury. I've actually got lots of Dark Elixir, too. That was awesome. So what can I do next? I can afford any of the traps, pretty much. I can't do any of the defenses yet. That's fine. Um, how many? Yeah, three days left for this giant bomb upgrade. So I can pretty much do whatever. So why don't we just, yeah, well, let's do the most expensive, let's do the most expensive trap that we can. Awesome. So, first, maxed out giant bomb finally, 11 day upgrade. Let's make sure it's not going to overlap with anybody. Nope, looks like it's going to be perfect. 11 day upgrade, 9 million gold. But, first, I've got extra elixir, so I might as well spend it too. So let's go ahead and put 8 million elixir into the walls. There we go. And now let's do this giant bomb. 9 million gold, 11 day upgrade, and 3, 2, 1, bam. There we go. And where do we want to put it? Where do we want to put it? Does that, does that work right there? I guess it'll work right there. Perfect. All right. I'm going to move these giant bombs over. It just needs to look a little bit prettier. There we go. This guy also needs to go over there. You, my dude, switch places. There we go. Okay, everything is split up pretty nicely now. Yeah. All right, so guys, all six builders are finally, finally busy. I've been working on that since I left for my nine-day trip to uh, to South Dakota. That was pretty awesome, seeing Mount Rushmore and everything. Uh, we finally got that going. We have the pet house going, a 10-day upgrade still going in the lab. So yeah, we're killing it now. I'm finally caught up. I'm where I want to be. This is good. This is this is fantastic. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos and if you're enjoying the Town of 14 Let's Play, thank you so much for coming in. Like this video if you like to subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. Uh, don't forget that the code does expire though, so double check in your shop before you buy something. The link, or the, uh, the C, if it's there, you're good. If it isn't, then use the link in the description to input the code automatically or do it manually in your settings. And remember that the code works with every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. So if you play any of those, do consider using code Klaus. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.